Miracle Food Organic Miracle Food It's an anti-inflammatory, it's vegan, gluten-free, 100% natural, fresh from nature, organic. Get your miracle food today. Get your miracle food today. Miracle food. Suitable for all ages. It's the perfect clientele. <clears throat> Alright, peace, y'all. Peace, peace. Um, this video <laughs> is long overdue. All right. Um, I know a lot of um, y'all asked me um, to do a video about Aaliyah. All right, and um, you know I just wanted to get you know more details on her story and things of that nature, and um, you know come to a conclusion. So I had to make sure everything was right. But um, in this video, um, we're going to be talking about the demise of Aaliyah. All right. Um, some of y'all may know her story or know. You know, how she got in the game and things of that nature. And, you know, um, a lot of things that transpired with her. All right. Um, but I'm going to be respectful. Like I said, you know, like I always tell y'all, you know, I'm. this is no way, shape, form or fashion. All right. To disrespect Aaliyah or anyone in her family. All right. But um, I'm just going to talk about some things and pinpoint a few things. All right. Um, that may tra have transpired throughout her career, all right? Um, a lot of things that went over people's head that, you know, most people didn't see, okay? But um, I'm going to point these things out to y'all. And um, it's safe to say, you know, that it's possible that Aaliyah was possibly involved in the occult before she passed, all right? But um, I'm going to break it down. I'm going to get to all of this, right? Um, also, um, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, discuss, um, a few things that, uh, may have, uh, led up to this situation, all right, um, that could possibly, you know, be the reason why she passed, all right? Um, but we, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about a lot of this. I'm going to, I'm going to break this down, um, I'm going to break this down for y'all and, and discuss a few things here, all right? All right, so Aaliyah, right? Aaliyah um, started singing at a very young age. All right, we're going to skip all the antics, but um, she got her first start um, on Star Search, all right, at the age of 10, all right? Um, for some of y'all that don't know, Star Search was a uh, pretty much like a uh, talent show, I would say, uh, where they would give... Um, the young uh, youth, they would give the youth an opportunity um, to, you know, get in the business, all right? Um, if that, you know, long and short, there's a lot of um, entertainers that we see today that have started on Star Search, such as um, Tevin Campbell, uh, Beyonce, uh, so many, so many people have went through the doors of Star Search. Some have won, some have lost. Okay, but um, Star Search was a very popular show around the late 80s, all right, going into the early 90s, all right? So, um, yeah, Aaliyah got her start on the show Star Search, all right, at the age of 10, all right? But she um, actually lost, um, she lost her performance. She didn't, she didn't win, basically. Um, but I guess that was a way for her to get her feet wet. Okay, in the industry, you know, prepping her for um, stardom, as they would say, okay, uh, you know, allowing her to perform in front of a crowd, you know, to get her comfortable, all right? Um, so I don't think that that was the intention of her parents to actually win or things like that. You know, they wanted to just, you know, you know give her some practice, all right? Um, now, fast forward, um, 
after she lost, okay, uh, her uncle, uh, her uncle Barry Hankerson, okay, who was married to Gladys Knight, uh, was actually Aaliyah's manager, okay. Um, he also owned Black Ground Records, all right. So when we look at this, right, let's look at it from outside looking in, okay. Um, it would be safe to say that Aaliyah was groomed, okay, uh, prepped for the industry, okay. Um, now, like I said, these are things that happen when we're talking about industry plants, right, where an individual's father, mother, uncle, brother, sister, whoever, right, family relative, all right, is in the industry already, okay, and what they do is, you know, they may find, a, they may, the, the family relative may have a child, okay, and bring this child along and teach them the ropes about the industry, okay, and prep them and groom them for certain things, all right, and teach them the ropes and the tricks, okay, and things that must be done in the industry, okay, in order to succeed, all right, so when we see the success of Aaliyah, all right, we know that, um, you know, she's had people influencing her life, uh, such as uh, her uncle and uh, Gladys Knight, all right? And Gladys Knight, if y'all don't know, Gladys Knight is a uh, huge, huge um, R&B uh, soul singer, all right? And, um, you know, she basically uh, showed Aaliyah, you know, the ropes, all right? So, yeah, um... I mean, if we if we gonna if we gonna be honest here, you know, um, this is when people learn a lot of this you know this dark stuff that goes on in the business because now I'm gonna get into the real deals of all of this, right? All right. So um, as uh, her uncle, all right, her uncle is managing her, all right. Um, he had connections uh, with R. Kelly. All right, and um, you know he was producing, helping produce a, a lot of R. Kelly's music, and you know they were friends. All right, um, but he actually got Aaliyah, okay, the meeting with R. Kelly. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, with this being said, you know I, I, I'm, you know it was it was kind of um, weird. I it was kind of weird at this point, but I'm, I'm gonna talk about some things here. I'm gonna talk about some things. Um, the fact that R. Kelly, all right, was actually, um, came in the game around the time where she was, you know, um, just getting hip and, you know, just getting of age, as some would say, all right, she was, she was 14, okay, so, um, Aaliyah did now, th this is the thing that I want to break down to you guys, right, and I'm not going to be disrespectful to her, but this is what I want to point out to you guys, all right. Now, the media portrays uh, R. Kelly and Aaliyah's situation, all right, as if R. Kelly saw Aaliyah, okay, and, you know, fell in love. All right. But that's not the case, okay. I truly believe that um, Aaliyah was sold to R. Kelly, okay. She was sold to him, okay. Now, I'm going to break down why I feel this way, all right. But this is, this is, this is the sick thing that people do, okay. Um, now, if uh, Aaliyah's uncle, Barry Hankerson, right, um, was aware of a lot of these things that R. Kelly was participating in, all right, because they were friends, all right, they were friends. Um, if he was aware of this, okay, and allowed his niece, okay, to uh, pretty much, you know, be molested by R. Kelly, okay, we have to understand that this is a sick business that these people are involved in, all right, this is a very sick business, all right, so when we see stuff like this, all right, it's safe to say that, you know, th there's all kind of nonsense that goes on with, with this situation here, but um, like I said, I feel that, I truly feel that she was sold to the industry, okay, and um, she had to take an oath, all right, so now when you say, Jay, she had to take an oath, what you mean? All right, but for some of you that don't know, when you uh, become married or you get married, all right, you and you go on the altar, all right, you're actually taking an oath, all right? And um, 
as they're being married, which was an illegal marriage, all right? This was an illegal marriage, y'all, yeah? all right? Um, this actually allowed um, Aaliyah to, to partake in these uh, sexual behaviors and gestures that one might not even be allowed to do, okay? So um, it's safe to say that uh, this was a sick type of situation that had took place, okay? But here's the thing I want to point out to you guys, and the reason why I said um, I truly believe she was sold to the industry, okay? Um, because once her and R. Kelly separated, right, um, she was dropped from Jive Records, okay? And then later on, she, you know, she was able to sign with Atlantic Records. But here's the thing, this is what I'm saying. When you um, are not willing to participate in certain acts or certain things and you know, they, they will cut your money off, all right? And, you know, I truly believe Aaliyah really wanted to be a star that bad, you know, so she went somewhere else, okay, and um, got her got her deal with Atlantic Records, all right? But um, Jive uh, dropped her, okay? I don't know if R. Kelly was behind the fact that she was dropped from Jive, okay? Just, you know, maybe he was being spiteful or whatever the case may be, but... Um, I kind of found that situation to be weird that the uncle was, you know, accepting of that whole relationship, okay? He was around that whole time, all right? Um, so, yeah, now, fast forward, right? Uh, Aaliyah's singing, doing, you know, doing movies and things of that nature. It gets creepy here. All right, so as Aaliyah's starting to get into Hollywood, right, which I truly believe was a big mistake, um, you know, she's doing movies like Romeo Must Die, okay, uh, Queen of the Dam, all right? A lot of y'all know Queen of the Dam means Queen of the Cursed, all right? So um, as she took on this role, okay, where she played Akasha, all right? She played Akasha, the vampire Akasha. Now, this comes from the story of Lestat. All right, where it's a vampire docu, uh, well, well, it's kind of like a biography of vampirism, okay. But um, Lestat, I don't want to go into the details of what Lestat is. I don't, you know, if you guys want, you can look up what Lestat is or whatever the case may be. I want to just keep it mainly focused on Aaliyah, but uh, she plays as Queen Akasha. All right, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna look up what the definition is of Akasha, okay, okay. So Akasha, all right, means space or sky, all right, or in traditional Indian cosmology, depending on the religion, the term has also been adopted in Western occultism and spiritualism in the late 19th century. In many modern Indo-Aryan languages and Dravidian languages, the corresponding word often rendered Akash retains a generic meaning of sky, all right? So, this what she was basically uh, representing, all right, the god of the sky, all right? Now, we know who the god of the sky is, all right, but this is a different form of that, all right? Um, this is definitely a different form of that. And when we look at the Akasha and we hear, we see what this means, all right, it, it is safe to say that uh, she tapped into a negative energy, all right, she tapped into a negative energy by doing this movie, all right, and allowing this uh, this negative energy, okay, to invoke her, all right, um, actually a bad idea, that was actually a very bad idea, all right, but I truly believe that um, Aaliyah knew that she was willing to participate in the occult, okay, and adapted this character, all right, and... Um, actually became possessed, okay? Um, I'm going to show you guys a few clips here uh, about what she said uh, as playing um, in as this uh, evil deity here. I am Akasha, the queen of the damned. <laughs> I think everyone has a bit of a fascination with the dark side. And um, it's fun to go to the movies and escape and, and really get deep into the whole fantastical characters and um i myself have always loved the dark side as well so i think it's something that everyone secretly longs for and wants 
it's definitely fun to, to explore that side of yourself and uh, the, the side of yourself that you uh, keep hidden in your everyday life because you know you're not supposed to go there unless it's absolutely necessary. And um, yeah, it's fun to just, to just be that mean, evil person. See how far you can really go. I like it. All right, so you see there, um, you know, she's va basically explaining that um, she accepted the dark side, all right? Now, um, as we know Aaliyah's story, she came in the industry as the pure young lady, okay? The pure young lady that was just singing. She was sweet. You know, she could do no wrong, okay? But here's the thing. This is how they trick you, okay? Um... You know, they put it, they, this, this is what you would consider an angel in disguise, all right? Um, because no one would expect Aaliyah to be participating in the occult or any type of negative, all right? But now, when we see these entertainers such as R&B singers like Rihanna, right? Beyonce, right? Uh, who else? Uh, anybody you name, Ashanti, right? They come out all wholesome first and then... Uh, years down the line, they start wearing black eyeshadow, they wearing all black, okay, and this is why these people get indoctrinated, okay, in this witchcraft, all right? So, um, when Aaliyah tapped into this queen of the damned energy, all right, this was her entrance into the dark side, all right, into the occultism, okay? Um, somebody close to her possibly had given her uh, the heads up that this is how you level up, okay? Um, and when she uh, took notice of this, all right, I believe she, at first, she possibly did have cold feet, but, you know, acknowledged it and embraced that side of her, all right? Um, and when you embrace that side of you, all right, you allow certain spirits to come into your life and, and do certain things, all right? So now, I want to point out something to you guys, right? I want to point out something to you guys, um, that's very important. Now, we're going to talk about um, two things, and I'm, I'm going to get to it, right? Now, we're going to talk about um, the Rock the Boat video, okay? This was Aaliyah's last music video, okay, that she ever did, all right? And, you know, um, it's, you know the situation is sad. I remember the day that um, she passed. Uh, they announced it on 106 in Park, uh, the day that she passed, okay? And um, it, the same day that she passed uh, was the same day that they aired uh, the Rock the Boat video, okay? So I'm going to break down this video here and uh, show you guys something. But I want y'all to pay very close attention to the color schemes in this video, okay? Remember what I told y'all about those colors, right? It's very important that you pay very close attention to this because I'm going to break this down in the most simplest form possible, all right? All right, so the video starts off with Aaliyah, all right, walking on the beach, all right, at a distance, coming from the water, all right, towards the camera, all right? But I want you guys to pay very close attention to the top of the screen, okay? I'm going to point out three things here, all right? Now, on the right side, okay? Do you see the skull and bones in the sky here? Okay, so as you can see, there's the skull and bones up here on the right side, okay? And then on the opposite side, what you can see is a, a pair of wings, what appears to be an angel or could symbolize an airplane. Now, um, as we know, clouds may, you know, clouds may be depicted as this, but... Um, I, I truly believe this was done uh, compute, like using computers. A lot of this uh, video here was done using green screen and things of that nature. So I'm, I'm tr I truly believe this was done on purpose using graphics. I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. But as you can see here, also I'm going to point out underneath where the sunbeam is coming from, right? You can see, you can clearly see the logo of Aaliyah's name. Okay, now if you, you guys notice, that is the same logo... Uh, that Aaliyah uses as her symbol or her uh, as her logo, I should say. All right. So this is basically um, giving a signification. All right, that she was going to meet her demise sooner or later. All right. Now I'm gonna break down after I, you know, sh break down this video. I'm gonna break down why. All right. Why um, I truly believe that she was sacrificed. Okay. But we are gonna get into the video. 
All right, so now Aaliyah comes up to the screen, right? Um, where you can't see her face, all right? They purposely blacked out her face. Now, anybody with the right common sense would know, right, that this was done on purpose, okay? Because of the simple fact is that if you're outside on a beach, okay, there's no possible way during the daytime, there's no possible way that you cannot record or see a person's face during the day all right so this was purposely done all right they put her as a shadow okay and i'm i'm pretty sure that she didn't know that what was going on or what was taking place okay because she just wanted to do the video or whatever the case may be but this was clearly 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 a ritual being done right in front of her face all right so it, it's sad. Now the blacking out her face represents um represents the spirit aspect. All right. There's a lot of things in this video that I'm a, I'm gonna be breaking down though. We're gonna get to it. Alright, so it cuts to the scene right when the song starts, where you see here, all right, Aaliyah is wearing a red crop top, all right, a red crop top, but look how they did this, okay? Her body or her uh her actual her actual self is covering okay her right eye this was done on purpose all right this was done on purpose all right so we see here that they they playing with the occult thing like i said y'all i want y'all to pay very close attention to the color schemes of what she's going to be wearing all right I remember i told y'all red black and white is satanic all right it's all satanic all right so now you see here Aaliyah is on the boat, okay, with her uh, choreographers, all right, and um, they are uh, all wearing white. Now, I want to I want to give my condolences to some of these uh, young women here because a lot of them on that flight they they all died. I, I believe it was um, in total nine, including Aaliyah. So it was eight Aaliyah and eight other people that died. So um, you know, I, I want to give my condolences to any of these females' families that. You know, um, you know that that you know have went through that that tragic situation, but um, yeah, we're gonna get into it, man. But like I said, here you see um, the white the white background. They're on top of the boat wearing white. All right, so this is to show that purification. All right, but we're gonna talk about a lot of stuff. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna break it down for y'all. I'm gonna break it down. All right, so now we see here they. Um, Purpose now, remember what I told you, there's no way that you can black out somebody's face during the daytime, right? Now, all of a sudden, you can see her face now, all right? But pay attention to something that the sun is beaming behind her head, okay? To represent that Mother Mary aspect, okay? This is the trickery that they do, all right? This is, this is the mess that they do in front of people. Now, um, watching this video, you may say, Jay, you bugging, man. You, you, you bugging out. No, I'm trying to explain something to you um, because this is how they do. Like, it's, it may look normal just to the normal eye, but you have, to, you have to use your sermon and see certain things for what they are, all right, and not what you assume, all right, because this is an aspect of the Mother Mary with the sun behind her head, okay? This is a representation, all right, of the sun goddess, all right? So... You guys pay very close attention to this, all right? Very close attention. Okay, so here, um, this scene is not really a big deal, but I wanted to point this out, um, how they're projecting homosexuality here. Um, and it went over a lot of people's heads. But this, the woman on the left, okay, uh, raises the woman in the middle skirt, all right? And the woman in the middle uh, acts basically distraught, <laughs> Okay, so um, this was all a plan from the beginning to uh, psychologically train the viewer, okay, to actually participate in these type of behaviors, all right? So now when we see this stuff going on today, it's normalized, right? But back then, when you're a teenager, you didn't catch this, all right, because it, it tapped into your subconscious, all right? But this is what I'm saying to you. Th these are things that people have to pay very close attention to, all right? All right, so you see here, um, Aaliyah, okay, is what appears to be sitting under a, uh, uh, I don't know what it's called. Well, she appears to be sitting under a tree here, all right, 
wearing all red, okay? All red. Now, notice something. She had on all white, okay? And then she had on all red, okay? So, we not done yet, though. We, we definitely not done yet, okay? And I want you guys to pay close attention to how the hat is slanted to the side, okay? To cover that one eye, all right? So, we... we 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 have to uh, pay very close attention to a lot of these things that go on, um, because the industry is very slick at what they do. All right, but we gonna we gonna keep going forward. Okay, so now um, it cuts to the scene where Aaliyah uh, appears to be underwater. Okay, she appears to be underwater. Now, in this very same scene here, all right, in this very same scene. Um, She's wearing black. Now, I'm going to rep I'm going to break down what this represents, okay? Now, when I I talked about the young Dolph uh video and Juice World and things of that nature, when these artists do these videos and they go underwater or depictions of underwater, they're actually cursing themselves, okay? Because it's a spirit thing, all right? Now, if we know that the bottom of the lake is the abyss, okay? And you go down there to shoot a scene for your video, it's safe to say that you're cursing yourself, all right? And, and a lot of these people um, that participate in this, you know, these directors, they tell them to do this, and they don't realize what they're doing, okay? They don't realize that they're putting curses on their self, all right? You don't, you're not supposed to mimic this stuff in any type of way, all right? You're not supposed to mimic this or, you know, try to get any type of um, energies from it, all right? Because this, this right here is very dangerous, all right, it's very, very dangerous, okay? But yes, she's wearing all black, and the depiction is her spirit. is supposed to represent her spirit at the bottom of the abyss. And I'm going to break that down also. I'm going to talk about that too. All right, so here, right, um, we see Aaliyah um, standing in front of the tides, okay? Now, there's a scene where it's used by the green screen, and it's the tides of an ocean. But I want to point out something as well now here. Um, she's wearing a necklace, all right, which is representing the serpent, all right? So if you see this uh, necklace that she has on here, all right, that is to represent the serpent, all right, the snake, all right? Um, now, this is what I'm saying about these things, right? Um, people, not under people don't understand um, that every last one of these entertainers, right, they know what's going on, all right? They may act innocent on television, and you may say, no, I can never, they could never be a part of the occult. Who? Them? No, right? But that's what they want you to think, okay? Because a lot of these people, all right, they do it for greedy reasons, okay? They do it for greedy reasons. Now, I'm going to point out um, something here, the, the depiction of that scene of her being um, pretty much in front of the tides, all right? So we're going to go to uh, Wicca spirituality, all right? And what is ocean tides, all right? This is the most commonly understood of the five moon tides, all right? Uh, the moon's tidal pull on the waters of our world is completely obvious. First, some of the basic facts about tides. There are two tides every day, corresponding roughly to when the moon is overheat, overhead and when it is on the opposite side of the planet. As it travels around the earth, the ocean moves with it, more or less. In, in point of fact, the tide's movement doesn't follow the moon exactly, but a pattern of resonance that the moon has established by circling the earth for a long time. Still, the most extreme tides occur around the full moon and the new moon. These are called spring tides, not because of any relation to the season, but from the Welsh word, that means to bulge, springing, okay? So basically, um, when she did this scene in front of these tides here, all right, now, it's, it was to give that, ref that deflection, that reflection. Now, this is what I'm going to point out. It wasn't a real tide, okay, because it was done with green screen, all right? But this is what I'm saying. When you participate in rituals, even on television, when we see this all the time, um, we see them using depictions, okay, depictions to represent, all right, this spiritual aspect, all right. So when we see this here, um, it's safe to say that, uh, you know, they were trying to um, 
mimic that, all right? Mimic them, the full moon or the new moon, okay? By projecting her in front of a tide, all right? It, it's sick, man. It's sick. It's, it's really sick. Okay, so here, um, as I said, you know, when you see them wearing all black, all right, we see the three color schemes, right? We've seen red, okay? She was wearing all red. We've seen her in all black here and also in all white, all right? So it'll throw you off by watching this video because you're like, oh, she's on a beach. She's on a boat. You know, it's the water's beautiful and the sky is beautiful, but you're not paying attention to the color schemes of the things that she's wearing and participating in certain rituals, okay? So, um, as we see here, as she's representing the spirit underwater, okay, um, I find this to be odd that as the video ends, okay, her body then goes up into the light, okay, up into the light, and the video then cuts off, okay? So, it's safe to say that her body went into astral projection or spirit possession, and that was, as her body left from the abyss, okay, that was the that was the ritual being done, all right? Now, I don't know, she was not, you know, Aaliyah was very young, okay, when she passed away, so I'm pretty sure she didn't know um, that this was, you know, a ritual being done on her, all right? But um, it's a sad situation. Now, I'm going to talk about why... Um, real quick before I end this video, I'm going to talk about why I truly believe that um, she was sacrificed, okay? Now, um, Aaliyah was basically um, one of those people that, from my point of view, she was one of those people that um, had the stigma, okay, of, you know, the purity and being pure and things of that nature, and she wanted to live on that dark side, okay? Uh, hence the reason why she started dating uh, rappers. It was rumored said that she uh, got involved uh, with Jay-Z. And then uh, after she dated Jay-Z, she got involved with Dame Dash. Okay. Um, but I'm not going to pinpoint and say that they had anything to do with her demise. But here's what I want to point out, though. Um, when we look at this, when we look at this, right? And, you know, if she's represented as a wholesome uh, person. And we already heard Mary J. Blige say that was supposed to be me on that plane, okay? Um, but when we see this, right, it's safe to say that um, they knew that her energy was pure, all right? And once she tried to tap into that negative side, um, I believe that she was tricked, all right? Manipulated, all right? Um, once they got her to grasp that side of her, um, they wanted to bring her to hell, all right? They wanted to bring her to hell. Now, I'm not going to say that her soul is, is residing in hell or anything of that nature because I'm pretty sure she was a strong believer in God, all right? But I do want to say, I do want to say something, though, that whoever was in charge of that plane and, you know, allowing that luggage to be carried on to that plane, all right, that was clearly a setup. All right, that was clearly a setup. So this is what I'm saying, y'all. Like, they have their reasons on why um, they may take this person's energy, all right? So when you sell your soul to the devil, all right, um, your time will be limited, all right? It will be limited. But understand something. Um, we don't, we, you, cannot, you cannot play around with these individuals because their whole objective is to get you and trick you, okay? Now, like I said to you, I tell you guys this all the time. When you play with the devil, right, um, He's and you try to repent and feel bad about what you're doing, you know, you're thinking you're going to go back and backslide, okay, um, you know, he's going to find a way to get you before you can even do that, all right? So um, it's a sad situation uh, what transpired with Aaliyah, you know. Um, she was a great, talented artist, wonderful voice, Um you know, sad, sad situation, very sad. Um, but we got to do uh, our due diligence on this entertainment industry, all right? Um, there's a lot of things going on with people, and they're very quiet. Um, but we just have to uh, stay prayed up and make and use a sermon, man. Use a sermon, all right? Um, I hope I touched on everything. And uh, with that being said, 
Um, I'm going to be dropping another video for you guys over here on Patreon um, this week. All right. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get everything done in a short period of time. So, um, yeah, man, I hope I touched on everything about Aaliyah. Um, gave you guys a brief description, a brief breakdown of what may have transpired. Um, but I uh, want everybody to have a blessed New Year's and everything like that. And um, stay safe, y'all. Peace.